In this video, let's dive into the code and understand the file system based routing feature of Next.js. I have opened VS Code and as you can see, I have created a new Next.js project using create next app. The command is npx create next app followed by next routing, which is the name of the project. Once you run the command, you should have a project similar to mine. Now for this section of the course, I want the focus to be on the routing feature only. And the folder responsible for that is the pages folder. To ensure we understand how routing with pages works, I'm going to delete the API folder and the index.js file which is present in the pages folder. We do need the underscore app.js file, so let's leave that in. The other two folders, public and styles, are not relevant to routing, so let's leave them as they are. Now for some code. If you remember from the previous video, I mentioned that Next.js has a file system based router. And the routing convention is that when a file is added to the pages directory, it's automatically available as a route. So for our first scenario with routing, let's add a route that needs to be rendered when a user visits our website. Our website is of course localhost port 3000. So if the user navigates to localhost port 3000, we want to display a message that says home page. To achieve that with page based routing, within the pages folder, I'm going to create a new file called index.js. Within the file, I'm going to define a function component, function home that returns an h1 tag that says home page. We also export it as default. Very simple component as you can see. And believe it or not, we have defined our very first route or page as we call it in Next.js. In the terminal, we can now run the command yarn dev or npm run dev. And when you open localhost port 3000, you should see the text home page. So this is the first point to keep in mind about routing in Next.js. The index.js file within the pages folder will map to the root of your domain. So we have successfully implemented scenario one. Next, let's take a look at scenario two. For this scenario, we need two more routes. One route to render when the user visits the about page and another to render when the user visits the profile page. So in the URL, slash about and slash profile. Now you might have already guessed how to do this. So let's head back to VS Code and define the two new routes. In the pages folder, I'm going to create another file. File name is about.js. Within the file, I'm going to define a function component and default export it. So function about the JSX is going to be an H1 tag, which says about page and we default export the component. Similarly, let's create yet another file in the pages folder called profile.js. This again is going to be a very simple function component that is default exported. So I'm going to copy the about component and change all occurrences of about to profile. If you now save both the files and head back to the browser, we should still see our home component at the domain root. Now though, if I enter localhost 3000 slash about, you can see that the about page is rendered. If I change the URL to slash profile, the profile page is rendered. Scenario two has been implemented. 
So the second point to keep in mind is that pages are associated with a route based on their file name. In the pages folder, about.js maps to slash about and profile.js maps to slash profile in the address bar. All right, hopefully the term file-based routing or page-based routing is starting to make more sense to you now. As you can see, there is no need to install a router and configure it with code. How you create your pages determines the routes. This is Next.js's approach of convention over configuration for routing. We still have a lot to learn though, so let's head to the next video. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to the channel.